Hey guys, it's Miss Katie from Mount Zion. I wanted to come on here and encourage you guys real quick with what God's doing in my heart. Um, I've been reading a lot of Paul's letters in 2 Corinthians, and he says this in 2 Corinthians 4. He says, Now that we have this treasure in jars of clay, so that this extraordinary power may be from God and not from us, we are afflicted in every way, but not crushed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. We are persecuted, but not abandoned. We are struck down, but not destroyed. And I think that's really important right now because I think this hope is that we are going to be molded into God during this time. Paul uses the analogy of treasures and jars of clay. And if you've ever worked with clay, clay is very moldable. It's a very uh, moldable material. If you've ever seen anybody work with pottery, then you can, you've seen them use this thing called a potter's wheel. And the potter has to press the button or press the pedal and then the wheel turns and the clay is sitting on it. And you can add water to it to make the, the clay moldable and shapeable. Okay. So think of when, when you hear this verse, think of God is the potter. Okay. And we're the clay. And sometimes in life can spin around like this potter's wheel. If you press the wheel really, really fast, then the wheel goes and it feels like the clay is going to just go whoosh right off of the wheel. If you take it slow and you take it day by day, then the clay is able to be molded, right? So if we take our life day by day and we spend time with God day by day, then we are being molded to be more like Him. And what's really cool with clay is you have these different tools that are going to remove some parts that are going to make some things nice and sharp or nice and smooth. That's what God does when we spend time with Him. He removes things from our lives that don't look like Him, that kind of look like the world. Maybe it's cussing or jealousy or whatever it is. He removes that. And then he adds in stuff that looks like him. So it's not just he takes it away and doesn't replace it. He takes it away and adds it with stuff that looks like him. So stuff like joy and peace and grace and stuff that shows what he can do in our lives. That's what a testimony is, is just what God's grace has done in our lives. And so our lives are jars of clay. We have this hope that we've been kind of molded and and feel like we're going to get broken and and clay gets hard and it gets dry but when you add water to it it's moldable again right and the script bible tells us that god is living water and so when he when we spend time with him we are able to have that living water in our lives we're able to have that time where we can look more like jesus throughout the day so that's what I want to encourage you with. And remember that we have this time to be able to spend with him so we can look more like him. By the time we can go back to school, people are going to say, what's going on with you? You can say, I'm trying to be more like Jesus. And that's a really exciting thing to do. So I pray that through this time, Jesus molds you and shapes you into the person that he has you to be. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.